Hello Capricorn. Welcome to another reading. This one will be all about what's coming towards you. Who or what is coming towards you and what do you need to know about the person or the situation? Can we get some insight please, Spirit, for Capricorn? Who or what is coming towards them and what do they need to know? For Capricorn, please. Who or what is coming towards them and what do they need to know? Let's start with who or what's coming. Oh, wow, the moon, Pisces energy. I'm getting like a... Surpri I'm getting a surprise from that card, which is strange because that card's usually about hidden energies, illusions, secrets. So who or what is coming towards Capricorn spirit? Nine of Swords, Justice, Libra energy there. And the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Pentacles. Someone's worried or anxious right away, I see here, with the Nine of Swords. There's anxiety, sleepless nights, remorse. Now, Justice is here, so I'm getting some strange energy here. I, I don't, like, to me... These two cards would be someone worried about getting justice, right? Will justice happen for me? Will will I get a fair outcome, right? I think about someone being worried that that outcome will not happen, but that's not what I'm getting here. I'm almost getting, and of course I'm going to clarify before I like jump to conclusions, but I feel like this is somebody that is worried that someone else will get justice or someone else will affect justice we'll see let's get some energy out here spirit what's the overall energy of what's coming towards capricorn broken silence open up be vulnerable and express your true feelings what else what's coming i got two strong bonds and standing firm so strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. And standing firm is all about defense, resistance, courage, standing firm against any challenge. So like I feel already there's there's an obstacle here. And Capricorn, this could be for you or for your person. Cold shoulders are the bottom of the deck. So that silence, energy, distance, coldness, broken silence is here. So someone could be um, kind of um, expressing themselves breaking the silence um, after being cold or distant. So let's get some clarity out here about these energies. Spirit, tell me more about these energies. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Eight of Swords, someone could be feeling stuck or is just very, very afraid, paralyzed by their fear. What's this? Ace of Pentacles and King of Swords. Hmm. King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. Very direct. The King of Swords. They clearly communicate their needs, their wants, and they could be a bit cold about it. You know, emotions don't really play a role here with the King of Swords. Page of Wands. So I feel like this could be somebody coming towards you, talking to you about something, making you an offer. Or maybe you're a bit nervous about going after an offer, taking the initiative, taking that risk, because Page of Wands is willing to kind of take those baby steps and kind of put themselves in there, right? Like they just want to kind of jump in and they don't really think about things before they jump in. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? Page of Wands. Why is Justice here? This could be anything so far. The Emperor, Aries, Energy. So these two would be the take charge type. Like they would go after something. Although the Emperor, they tend to think a little bit more than a Page of Wands would. Because there's maturity with the Emperor. Can I get one more for Justice? Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Movement. 
quick movement, bottom of the deck, the page of swords. For some of you, this is something to do with a job. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm thinking this emperor might be a boss. Official institution, building with justice, a legal matter. This could be a judge. Um, I'm getting like news from Page of Swords. Like there's news. Yeah, wow, the moon shows up again here. Clarity, information, whatever's hidden is now clearly communicated with the Page of Swords. That's that broken silence energy. Someone could be speaking up here or talking to you about something. They could be making you an offer for a job or something. And it's like up to you to go after it. I feel like a lot of you are scared to do this. If this is a job, you're scared about it. If this is a proposal, if this is somebody telling you, hey, after all this time, um, I've always had feelings for you because you've had that reading so many times, Capricorn. If someone's breaking their silence and revealing their feelings to you, I feel like there's fear here. Let me clarify this Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Where is this leading to? What is the Six of Swords and Knight of Wands about? The Six of Swords is about leaving something behind. And the Knight of Wands is like doing something impulsive, quick. The Three of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords and the Knight of Wands, please. What's this about? Okay, so the Queen of Swords, Three of Swords. I feel like this is going to be a difficult transition, a difficult move, a difficult... Uh, I'm getting understanding, but I don't know what. It's almost like you understand that you have to leave something or you understand why the result was the way it was or why this emperor is like offering you whatever they're offering. You know why it's happening, I feel, with the king of swords, queen of swords, because you're getting direct information. But at the same time, it's not really easy either. This is such a strange reading. Let's, let me ask about this emperor. Spirit, what do we need to know about this emperor? For Capricorn, what do we need to know about this Emperor, please? Ace of Wands, new opportunity. Yeah, this Emperor represents a new opportunity. They're the ones bringing you something new. Yeah, success, victory. I feel like this Emperor is trying to help you or is interested in having a new beginning with you, a new start. This would require that you kind of take a risk here though. I think that's what the problem is. If this is a job offer, if this is a love interest, you know, whatever this represents for you with the Emperor and Justice, I feel like this could be good for you, but you're like worried. Some of you might have like jealous friends, colleagues, jealous people in your life. Um, Cause I'm getting that a lot of you are concerned how this will look. That's what I'm getting. like how this will look i don't know what that means but you're worried about appearances here for some reason uh, like maybe this would put the spotlight on you or maybe it's not what others would expect from you tell me about the queen of wands why is the queen of wands here why is the Queen of Wands here? Some of you, this could be a boss telling you they're interested in you or a supervisor, a lead, telling you that they're interested in you and you're worried about what your colleagues might think. Or this could be like a family friend or something like that. Yeah, I see you kind of with the Seven of Cups and the Magician. It's like, how would this work? What options do I have? Wow, the Empress. I don't think you have anything to worry about. And the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you should just go for this. Cancer energy with the Chariot and the Empress. Like, I see you headed towards something more abundant, more fulfilling, more successful. Like, you'll be doing really well for yourself here. Because the Chariot is all about being on the path to success. Having a goal and achieving it. I just feel like there's a, a challenge in order to get here. And you're kind of thinking ahead, Capricorn. So let's see. What do you need to know about this situation or this person that you might not be aware of? But before I do that, I want to get a kipper. 
Let me get a kipper. Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know about this situation? What do they need to be aware of? Oh, Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to be aware of, Spirit? What does Capricorn need to be aware of? Wealthy man. That's that emperor energy. What does Capricorn need to be aware of? This could also be like a business partner. Poverty and marriage. House at the bottom of the deck. So marriage, if this is a career reading, right? Like if you're listening to this and the career side resonates more for you, think of this as a marriage of like partners, like a partnership between you and a supervisor, you and a department, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Wealthy men and poverty, they're like complete opposites. So it's very interesting to me that these two are next to each other. It's almost like you would be, if you were missing something or needed help or weren't doing well, the wealthy man energy is here to kind of assist, help you with this, or bring about some sort of opportunity. Some of you are dealing with a person that is married or has a, is committed. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I don't know what happened there. Maybe they're recently divorced or separated. That's a challenge for you. That's not something that you're really looking for. So I see you kind of being worried about that. Obviously, that's not for everyone, but let's see. Let's see what the tarot says. What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, that they might not be aware of about this person or this situation? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, let's see what we got here for you. The Chariot again, Cancer Energy, Page of Wands and Queen of Wands. Basically, go for it. <laughs> That's really what these energies are. There's Death, Scorpio Energy at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this will change a lot for you. There will be endings, but also new beginnings. So doors are closing, but new ones are opening. You have to leave something behind. And I'm not, I mean, for all, uh, I'm reading for different Capricorns, right? So take this as it resonates for you. Some of you would have to leave your position, leave your colleagues, leave your industry in order to go after this opportunity. And it's very scary for you because, you know, Capricorn, you like things to be a certain way. You like your security, your stability. You don't like to play around with that. Others of you, I feel like you are very worried about how this will look. I still get that. Um, maybe because this person's recently divorced. Maybe they're a family man maybe or a family woman. Um, maybe they have entanglements, right? Attachments in their life. Recently separated, recently divorced, or et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's like a very complex situation. For one of you watching, the issue is stability. You think there's potential here for more, maybe even marriage, engagement. But there's something here that's like off. It's like they're not taking all of your boxes. Okay, let's clarify. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Strength, Leo energy, courage, inner strength. Tell me about the chariot. Strength is all about, you know, don't force it. Go with the flow kind of energy. King of Pentacles. I think this move would be, if you're, um, the one that's like resonating with the career um, aspect here of this reading, you should just go for it. I feel like it would really be um, good for you, for your stability, for your, um, I feel like uh, you would be in a respected position or end up somewhere like respected. Okay. 
Can I get one more for the page of wands? Why is the page of wands here? Yeah. The Hierophant, Taurus, Energy, and the Magician. Like, I feel like this is go for it energy. Um, but you're worried. Again, I feel like you need things to look a certain way or appear a certain way. Very traditional mindset here. Very conservative mindset. And this is like the opposite with the Fool at the bottom of the deck. Like, this would need... You, will, you won't have all of the answers up front. A risk would be required. And I know that that's scary for a lot of you. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. That's reminding me of the Empress. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Knight of Swords. This I heard this opportunity will not come again. That's what I heard. Like this, um, I'm picturing a door that opens, but does not stay open. It closes. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. And the Knight of Swords is like almost like this is a quick offer, a quick message. Yeah, um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be like waiting, but this is not something you can wait on um, because the opportunity won't be there for long, which again, I'm sensing that a lot of you don't like that. You don't like feeling pressured. You don't like feeling like crunched for time here. You want to think about things before you answer, before you respond. Some of you, I feel like you'll have like one or two days to think about it. Yes. And there's the Three of Swords again with Justice next to it. So it's almost like this is going to be good for you, but, but also difficult at the same time. It's really weird. It's very bittersweet energy. It's a good cup to, to receive, but it comes at a cost. Because there's something here that like i said it's not ticking all your boxes but it's like the best thing that could happen like this is the best thing that could come towards you in some time but it's not going to be a perfect offer and i feel like that you're uncomfortable about that whether this is someone specific that you already know maybe you work with them maybe there's complexity there or if this is a job offer from a certain boss a certain company a certain industry there's something that is like risks will be required. A move will be required. It will take you out of your comfort zone a little bit. But I don't think that's a bad thing. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your support. If you enjoyed the reading, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out a lot here on YouTube. And uh, I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.